Irma leading to another precarious situation tonight, high above Miami. A crane began dangling after the hurricane knocked it loose. CBS 4's Aralia Ortega live in Miami with an update on that and more. Aralia. Rick, it's hard to show you that crane because of how high up in the air it is, but I can tell you that residents who evacuated prior to the storm are upset that they are coming back only to have to leave once again. A concerning sight for residents living near a construction area of Northeast Fifth Avenue and 30th Street in Miami. A large crane dangling about 450 feet in the air following Hurricane Irma. City of Miami police and fire rescue are asking residents who live at two nearby buildings to voluntarily evacuate. Very that's my unsafe to live here. Honestly, I wouldn't recommend no one living here. I don't know where I'm going. I do have friends. I'm going to call them, but I'm also going to look for a place to stay with animals. I have my dog and my two cats here. Residents living at the Biscayne Breeze Mobile Home Park in North Miami are also dealing with a headache. They're just now beginning cleanup efforts after being delayed by knee deep flooding following the storm. We're moving all of the trees away from the streets. All the trees like fell, as you can see from the streets. On Miami Beach, nearly 100,000 residents who evacuated before Hurricane Irma were allowed to return this morning. The city officially reopened to residents, business owners, and tourists alike. Very, very happy. Relieved that nothing was broken. At a news conference, Miami-Dade County Mayor Carlos Jimenez says he took an aerial tour of the county to assess the damage. The mayor says about 60 percent of traffic signals are not working. Although he's lifted the 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. curfew, he wants residents to be careful out on the roads, especially when encountering a downed power line. He's also asking people to stay out of the water. The state of Florida Department of Health has issued a swimming advisory for all Miami-Dade County beaches and open waters, please uh, stay out of the water until further notice. And the mayor wants to stress that the water advisory is not for tap water. He says that is safe to drink here in Miami-Dade County. He also says he hopes to have roads cleared by the end of the weekend. Live in Miami, Oralia Ortega, CBS 4 News tonight. Oralia, thank you.